guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. We are finally back with another what's new at the drugstore video. I apologize that it's taken me so long to film part two. I know so many of you guys really enjoyed part one. I actually planned on doing this monthly, but I feel like I just wasn't seeing enough newness at the drugstore that really warranted an entire new video until now. So we are going to talk through a bunch of new drugstore goodies in today's video. We have things like ITK skincare, which a lot of you have asked me to review new from Aveeno, Neutrogena, Essence, Tree Hut, and more. So let's just jump into it. Let's start off with ITK Skincare. Again, I know a lot of you are really curious about this brand. It is actually a brand that was created by fellow YouTubers, Brooklyn and Bailey. And I actually had never heard of their channel before hearing about this brand, but their channel is huge. So I understand why so many of you are curious about this. The first thing I was sent is the Milk to Foam Gentle Cleanser that is supposed to remove grime and makeup to cleanse the skin. The product description on their website also says that this is supposed to gently exfoliate the skin and the ingredients that they attribute to that claim are pineapple and coconut enzymes. So I was a little bit nervous about that. I was wondering if this was going to have like actual physical scrub exfoliant pieces in it, but it doesn't, it's smooth. So if that's something that you're worried about, I don't think that you have to be with this cleanser. And then on top of that, it also has panthenol, hyaluronic acid, and is fragrance-free. This cleanser is going to be perfect for those of you that want something that is soft and smooth and not necessarily a gel, but that does also kind of bubble a tiny bit on the skin. It's not super, super foamy, but it definitely does get a little bit bubbly as you continue to rub it in. So if you need that in a cleanser just for the experiential purpose, then I do think that you will enjoy this because it's rare that I find a cleanser that does both. I wouldn't say that this has become a new favorite for me, but I am so picky about cleansers. I've tried so many at this point, so I really know exactly what I like and what I want to reach for over others. So that is not to say that this is bad whatsoever. I do you think it's a nice cleanser. It's just not something that I was like, oh my God, obsessed with. And that really is what I look for in a cleanser these days. So I'm sure a lot of you will really, really enjoy the application process here, but Again, just not a top, top favorite for me, but a good drugstore option. Then we have the Nightly Clarifying Serum, which is stacked with so many great ingredients. I was very impressed reading through this ingredients list. It has things like jojoba oil, azelaic acid, niacinamide, bakuchiol, panthenol, vitamin E, urea, serine, lactic acid, allantoin, hyaluronic acid, peptides, and it is fragrance-free, like all these products. So loved reading through all of that. They do say that this is supposed to smooth texture, but I personally wouldn't rely on this by itself. I do feel like you need something stronger like tretinoin to truly smooth texture, especially if you have really stubborn texture, but this would be something that is really nice to add to a routine with tretinoin, get some additional hydration, I like. Also, I really enjoy the way that this feels. It's definitely different from most serums that I own because it's a little bit milky. So obviously I love it. It just felt really nice and hydrating and I like that it felt different than a lot of the other serums that I own. Next, we have their clay color changing mask, which is supposed to help to tighten pores and remove buildup. This contains kaolin or clay and jojoba oil. Clay is definitely not an ingredient that's actually going to shrink your pores, but it can help to improve the appearance of your pores by loosening the dirt and sebum within them. So if you have really intense blackheads, really oily skin, I think that clay masks are great. And I really like the texture of this one because it's not nearly as dry as a lot of other clay masks that I've tried. Like what's the the Aztec secret healing clay mask that went viral years ago. That one is like dirt, literal clay. This one, while yes, is still a tiny bit pasty, is definitely creamier and just nicer to apply on the skin. So if you have been interested in the clay mask category, maybe dabbled with some and haven't really found one that has a texture that you like, this is definitely one worth looking into. And it does change colors. Mine turns into like a reddish one. I don't know if it, changes based on like your body chemistry or how that works, but mine does turn kind of red. Next, we have their prebiotic gel moisturizer, which again is stacked with so many amazing ingredients like a prebiotic, squalane, niacinamide, cucumber extract, aloe juice, lactic acid, hyaluronic acid, serine, panthenol, allantoin, and urea. This is definitely my favorite product out of all the products I received from ITK because I really love the way that it feels. Yes, it's a lightweight gel, but it's a creamier gel. So you're getting some extra moisture. It's super soft and smooth, ultra hydrating, a really 
really nice daytime option for anyone with oily skin. Second to last is their broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen setting mist, which has organic UV filters, including avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octocrylene in it. The only thing to be aware of with this is that denatured alcohol is the first ingredient on the label. So if you have really, really dry, sensitive skin, this may not agree with you. It may feel a little bit drying. And I will say that it definitely does just kind of smell like straight up alcohol. So it's not my favorite to spray on the face for that reason, even though I do love that it is a really lightweight, fine mist. So if you are okay with that kind of smell and you just want a sunscreen setting spray that's lightweight, doesn't look greasy, doesn't mess up your makeup, then this is one worth looking into. And the last thing that I have from ITK are the micro needle blemish patches. I was really excited to try these out because I typically steer clear of blemish patches that have ingredients added because a lot of the times I feel like they have essential oils and other things that could irritate my skin, but this didn't have anything like that. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, aloe, salicylic acid, willow bark extract, and centella asiatica. But unfortunately, these did not stick on my face. I did try several and they all ended up just kind of like unsticking and flapping off my face. I don't know. So something about this just didn't work with my skin. Maybe it'll work for you. Could have just been a me thing, who knows? Next, we have three new products from Aveeno that are all within their Calm and Restore range. And that is a range that is focused on colloidal oatmeal, which is a great ingredient for dry, sensitive skin. It helps to protect, soothe, decrease inflammation, calm. So if that is an ingredient that you really like, that you feel works for your skin, and you've been looking for some drugstore options as a way to get it, this might be it. First is their Calm and Restore Nourishing PHA Exfoliator, which includes gluconolol, Octone, which is the PHA to help to exfoliate the skin. In addition to some things that will really help to soften and condition like sunflower seed oil, oat kernel oil, lecithin, lecithin, I said it wrong again, and elantoin. I was so excited to try this because I feel like we don't have a lot of great exfoliating cleansers at the drugstore that are also gentle. I feel like the exfoliating cleansers that exist are pretty harsh. So I was excited about this and was even more excited when I saw the texture at first because it is soft and kind of milky, but I just found it kind of weird to apply to the skin. I don't need a cleanser to bubble and foam, but I feel like there was absolutely no lather with this, like no anything. It's really hard to describe. So I don't think it's a bad cleanser. I just think it's a little strange to use. Next is the Redness Relief Moisturizing Cream, which contains 1% colloidal oatmeal, oat kernel, panthenol, and Ceramide MP. And all of these Aveeno products are fragrance-free as well. This one is so, so nice. It's like the perfect cream gel, jelly cream gel cream. We'll say that. It just feels so, so nice. It's very refreshing to apply to the skin. Moisturizing, yes, but not heavy, not greasy at all. And if you have tried their oat gel moisturizer, this one is just a little bit thicker, but still it's not like thick to apply. It's so nice. I've been reaching for this quite a bit. I really like. And last is their Calm and Restore Skin Therapy Balm, which also has 1% colloidal oatmeal on top of oat kernel oil, ceramide NP, and oat Oat kernel extract. This is definitely one of the lightest weight balms that I own. I really love the way that it feels because you're getting that like soft, silky protection, but in a way that isn't as pasty as some of my other balms or ointmenty like the CeraVe healing ointment. While products like that are great and really helpful, they're not great to wear during the day if you're going to be out in public. So if you are looking for a lighter weight option, a balm that contains colloidal oatmeal, definitely check this one out. It feels so good. And last for skincare is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Soothing Milk Cleanser. You know I had to buy it. Standout ingredients in this include sunflower seed oil, gluconolactone, avocado oil, lecithin, elantoin, and hyaluronic acid. So a lot of nice conditioning and hydrating ingredients in this. And while all of that is great, you guys know the real reason I bought this is because it's called a soothing milk cleanser, which is just like music to my ears. And I have really been enjoying this. It's definitely something that works up on the skin better than that Aveeno cleanser, but it still is soft and silky and creamy and really nice without being too heavy. 
I'm trying to think of what it's most comparable to. Compared to the La Roche-Posay Dermal Milky Cleanser that I've been talking about a lot, I would say that this one is a little bit more runny or a little bit more liquidy than that one. And I was really nervous that this was going to make my skin sting and burn because a lot of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost products do that. But for whatever reason, this has not caused any irritation for me whatsoever. So far, fingers crossed. This isn't technically a new product, but I did just newly find it for the first time. The reason why I found it is because it was sitting amongst all of the like holiday gifts and newness that Ulta had. So I assumed it was new but it's not. It is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Moisturizing Shave Oil. These shave oils are so nice. They just make your skin feel so soft and smooth and silky. But I think what's even better about this is the smell. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so good. So the notes in this are almond, golden amber, and Australian sandalwood. Need I say more? Like, delicious. Another Tree Hut product that I wanted to pick up is this Frosted Cranberry Shea Sugar Scrub. I don't know if this one is new either, but again, it was like sitting with all of the holiday stuff and it's a holiday scent. So I feel like that counts. I haven't actually used this one yet because I'm almost done with the Velvet Coffee Body Scrub that I got from Tree Hut, but it smells very good. It is really sweet and fruity, but it's just something fun. It does feel festive. The one that I really wanted to try from them is I think like their warm sugar cookie fragrance, but they didn't have it at Ulta. I was really bummed. If they did, I definitely would have bought that too. All right, let's move on to makeup next. I only have three things to talk about and they're actually all lip items. I feel like I was really struggling to find new drugstore makeup. So this is what we have. First is a lip gloss set from Essence. This is a holiday launch. It's called their, what is it called? Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss Set. It comes with four different lip glosses. I think it's only like $12.99. So super affordable for what you're getting. You get two different shimmery shades, a peachy nude and a frosty kind of silvery white. And then you get two that don't have any glittery reflex in them. One that is completely clear and one that is like a clear hot pink. I think my sister was the one who told me about these glosses. She had either tried them and liked them or heard that they were really good. So I wanted to test them out and I was not disappointed. They are really, really nice. They're not sticky at all. And compared to some other lip glosses that I own, like something like the Fenty Cream Gloss or my Buxom glosses, those ones are a little bit creamier. These are super, super lightweight, which I think is their unique advantage at the drugstore, of course, aside from the low price point. And the other thing I was worried about with these is that they're called Extreme O. So I guess it's Extreme Shine and then it says volume. I think at first I thought it was like extreme volume and supposed to be a plumping gloss where it really tingles and burns like the Fenty plumping gloss, which is I think officially too much for me, but these do not do that. So you don't have to worry about that. Why did I buy this? Don't ask me why I bought this. I don't know. It's the Sweet and Shimmer lip oil. Sweet and Shimmer is the affordable holiday brand that you can find at Ulta. So I don't know if that means that Ulta actually owns it, but it's just around the holiday season and you get a lot of holiday themed items for a super, super affordable price. So I wanted to see if this $2.99 lip oil was any good. And it actually is. I don't love the applicator. I feel like it's weirdly short and stiff, but like, am I even allowed to critique that when it's $2.99? It feels really good. It honestly kind of reminds me a little bit of the original Clarins lip oil formula, which has since changed, which is devastating to me. It's not quite as plushy as that one, but it's in that kind of like same realm. Feels good, not sticky. Sweet and shimmer, $2.99, I don't know. Why did I buy this? Don't, I don't know what was going through my mind. This is normally something that I would never purchase. It is the Tony Moly Lychee Jelly Lip Melt. I just, I never buy jelly lip products like this because I know that even though they feel nice, they will not last on my lips and I'll just have to constantly reapply. But something about this, I just thought was so cute. It looks like a little jello. And so I was like, Maybe my viewers will want to see it. It does smell like strawberry lychee. I do have to say that this has the coolest texture ever. Like it's just so fun to apply. It's just so jelly-ish. So I actually really like that about it and it does feel very nice. Ooh, how would I describe this? I feel like it's like a top coat 
type thing. It's slippery, it's slick. It feels so, so smooth and conditioning. Do I have lipstick everywhere? Don't look if I do. And it adds amazing shine. What is this even actually supposed to be? Oh, okay. So they say that this is bouncy like a jelly cake, but melts into a smooth nourishing lip oil with a glossy finish. That's exactly what I just said. Um, so agreed. It's jelly, it melts, it feels really nice. It definitely is not long lasting, but it's a fun little product. I don't know. I don't know if you have someone in your life that's into things like this and would think this is so cute and fun, could be a cute little gift. The drugstore is so slow with hair care launches, which on the one hand, is that how you say that? On the one hand, on one hand, Mm -hmm. I don't want to complain about that because I 1000% think that overconsumption of beauty products is a huge issue and brands are just pumping out way too much product. But I wish that like some of it could shift from makeup into hair care or that we could like at least replace some of the hair care items that are out there with something better. That's what I feel like we need. Not necessarily more, just replacements for others. So I didn't really notice anything new worth mentioning in the drugstore hair care space, aside from this new launch from Sally Beauty called Bond Bar. This is supposed to be their dupe for Olaplex. It is a line of four products, which includes a pre-shampoo treatment, a shampoo, a conditioner, and a post-wash styling cream. This is a little bit of a teaser because I did just film a review on this and it's already up. I will, is it? I'm planning to post that before this video goes up. So it should be listed and linked in my description box below. I don't wanna spoil the review, so go check that out if you would like to hear my thoughts on Bond Bar and whether or not it's a dupe for Olaplex. I will say that each of these products are $9.99. So in total, if you were to buy all four of these, it would be only $10 more than the Olaplex number three treatment by itself. So, all right, we are going to wrap up this video here. Those are all the new products that I wanted to share from the drugstore today. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you wanna test any of these items out? Have you seen anything else that is new at the drugstore that you would like me to review? If so, let me know in the comments below. And of course, let me know if you would like to see a part three. Do you still want this to be an ongoing series? I definitely want to continue making more affordable content for you guys, especially given the state of the economy. So if there are other affordable beauty related videos that you want me to make, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to do that. And if you enjoyed the video, you know the drill. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support means the world. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days.